With just three weeks until Election Day, Hillary Clinton is making a new push into some traditionally red states. Her campaign said Monday it's launching a new offensive in Arizona, where the real clear politics average of recent polls has Trump ahead by just one point. The state hasn't voted for the Democratic nominee since 1996, but Clinton is sending one of her top surrogates, First Lady Michelle Obama, to campaign there Thursday. And the campaign is the making News a is rare right ad buy in Texas, touting its endorsement from the Dallas Morning News. Trump's six points ahead there in the real clear politics average. And a Democratic nominee hasn't carried Texas since Jimmy Carter in 1976. So are these red states turning into battleground states? Gabriel De Benedetti is national political reporter for Politico. Gabe, this is an interesting development here. How confident is the campaign about pushing into these states? Well, uh, first, it's definitely more confident in Arizona than it is in Texas. In Texas, it's more of a play to try and get people to pay attention. Texas is a really expensive state to compete in, and she's really been trailing him there. Arizona, however, they actually do think is pretty competitive. Polls have been, you know, showing it pretty close, even though in 16 of the last elections, 15 times it's gone to the Republican. But because of the growing Hispanic population there and because of Trump's unpopularity there, the Clinton people do see an opportunity. They're not going to make a full push, but they're going to try. So it's really interesting to watch that. Our CBS News estimate has Hillary Clinton at more than the needed 270 electoral votes. So what else is motivating this expansion, you well, think? Well, part of it is simply to try and scare off Republicans, trying to get them to put resources into states that they really shouldn't be spending resources to try and run up the score. The Clinton folks believe that if they have a bigger electoral victory, she'll have more of a mandate once she takes over the uh, Oval Office. So that's clearly part of this. Beyond that, they're trying to expand their Senate, uh, their Senate possibilities. They want to win back the Senate, and though the Arizona seat, John McCain's seat, is a bit of a stretch for them, they're going to try and take it. Uh, the campaign, the uh, Clinton campaign, is still dealing with the WikiLeaks release of its emails. We saw this weekend some transcripts from her Wall Street speeches. That was something that Bernie Sanders really hit her hard on during uh, the campaign, the primary campaign. We saw that in the debates. What has been the impact, you think, of some of those releases? That's a good point. You know, it's obviously been a bit of a mixed bag for them because for the most part, it's been very difficult for people to dig through these releases since there's so much of it. There hasn't been one big takeaway. Clearly, Republicans are eager to try and divide the Bernie Sanders wing of the party and the Hillary Clinton wing of the party. And the Clinton folks have been trying hard not to let that happen. But evidence that it hasn't happened, Bernie Sanders uh, is going to Arizona for Hillary Clinton tomorrow. All right. Uh, lastly, Gabe, the final presidential debate is this Wednesday. What are you going to be looking for there? Oh, I don't think anyone knows what to be looking for. I think at this point, the Clinton folks are really expecting Donald Trump to throw everything he possibly can at her. Questions about bills passed, questions about election rigging. It's going to be a very crazy uh, kind of uh, event, everybody believes, but no one knows exactly what to expect. Well, I'll be watching closely. Gabe DiBenedetti, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.